Hey Art fans, Butch Hartman here. You know what? I'm starving. I'm starving because it's breakfast time. That's right. I don't know where you are in the world watching this, but where I am right now, it's time for breakfast. So I'm going to eat some of my favorite cereal, Lucky Charms. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Lucky Charms. It's not. Don't I wish it was, <laughs> but it's not. Still, Lucky Charms are really good. You know, what I love about Lucky Charms is that they're magically delicious. It says so right in the box. You know who says it? Lucky Leprechaun. All right, but before I get started, I gotta pull stuff out of the box, so. All right, there's my iPad, whammo, and, ah, <laughs> my Apple Pencil. Here we go. All right, so I am now going to draw cereal box characters meeting Marvel characters. First up, Lucky the Leprechaun. He's magic, I think you should meet a magic Marvel character. Who better than Doctor Strange? Check it out. Okay, so Doctor Strange. Now, I've always wanted to do a Doctor Strange battle with a serial character, but I'm like, which serial character could he fight? He's magic. What serial character is magic? And of course, I thought Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms. You know, pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, and green clovers. And so, uh, those are the marshmallows that were in the cereal when I was a kid. I know they've added like a ton of other shapes, but we're gonna take, uh, you know we're gonna kind of stick with the shapes that I grew up with. And think about it. Think how epic their magic battle would be. I mean, Doctor Strange has reality bending powers, and Lucky the Leprechaun obviously is magical enough to make cereal marshmallows appear out of thin air. So there's got to be some dimensional distortion abilities he's got there, and the ability to get kids involved. I mean, this this guy's got some magical Pied Piper like abilities. So Doctor Strange has to put a stop to it. So this is Doctor Strange fighting Lucky the Leprechaun, always after Me Lucky Charms. All right, let's see. Okay, now who else could I do? Well, oh, sunglasses. Okay, I'll put these on. Maybe let's put these on. My future is so bright. All right, so let me think. So let me see. Oh, I love Captain Crunch. You guys like Captain Crunch? What if Captain Crunch meant another captain in the Marvel Universe? What about Captain America? Check it out. All right, now Captain America, one of my all-time favorite superheroes, uh, and I love the way he's portrayed in the movies. He's obviously the leader of the Avengers. Uh, just a great hero. They've really done a great job uh, in the films. I think Chris Evans is a dynamite Captain America. So just drawing Captain America is just so much fun. Since Captain America is a leader, he's got to battle the leader of the serial characters. And of course, I can't think of a better leader for the serial characters than Captain Crunch. And so Captain Crunch, I mean, you know, he, he's a leader, he goes out there, he's an explorer, he's out there exploring the, you know, the cereal, the, the sea of cereal, and just trying to get, get a healthy, healthy breakfast to the kids. But I think somehow there's been kind of, some kind of a misunderstanding here where some, somehow Captain Crunch is, is seen as a bad guy and Captain America is just trying to stop him. And what would Captain Crunch do battle with Captain America with? I think, you know, if you turn over Captain America's shield, it's like a bowl. And so Captain Crunch would battle him with a spoon. So this is Captain Crunch battling Captain America. And I know they're both leaders. I know they would both come to an understanding if they just sat down. Guys, just chill out. Have some cereal. It's going to be okay. Okay, let me see. Wow. <laughs> Paper clips, that's weird. All right, the next cereal box character I think would be really cool to meet a Marvel character is Sonny the Cuckoo Bird, who's Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I think it'd be great if he met Spider Man. Check it out. All right, so Sonny the Cuckoo Bird for Cocoa Puffs. He's Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That was the big catchphrase when I was a kid. And I love Cocoa Puffs. And Sonny is a very interesting character. I mean, he runs around with a shirt, no pants. He's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, so he's kind of insane. And, uh, you know, he's fast and he's kind of crazy. So it's like, I needed a fast, kind of crazy hero. And now, this hero isn't, uh, you know, Deadpool crazy, but, you know, Spider Man is pretty, you know, quick witted. He's very funny. And I think he's just fast enough, you know, to catch someone like Sonny the Cuckoo Bird. And, you know, he's got the web so he can catch things. So I think also Spider Man, he's a kid, he likes Cocoa Puffs. So here we are Spider Man fighting Sonny the Cuckoo Bird and winning. And it's, 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 it's real, too. I'm still looking for some cereal in here. I'm going to get some cereal by the end of this video, or my name is not Butch Hartman. Oh, it's a Superman hairbrush. Who would make this? Who would own this? Okay, so the next cereal box character I think should meet a Marvel character is Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops. I love Toucan Sam. Follow your nose and always nose! But, um... Uh, who could he meet? What bird character in the Marvel Universe could he meet? I think he should meet the Falcon. Check it out. Okay, so Toucan Sam from Fruit Loops, one of my favorite uh, serial characters. And uh, yet, you know, 
he, uh, he's always trying to help. He's trying to lead the kids to the cereal, which probably isn't that good because it's sugary. It's not good for them. And so I think just trying to lead kids into the cereal life, I don't think that's good. I don't think the Avengers would like that. That's, it's like leading kids down the primrose path, the bad path. And so I think, you know, the only bird-themed Avenger we have is the Falcon. And so I think the Falcon would, uh, you know, get up in um, get up in Toucan Sam's grill. I think he would just, <laughs> I think he would want to stop him from leading the kids into the sugar life. And so this is a drawing of the Falcon fighting Toucan Sam. And of course the Falcon's going to win because, man, you know, come on, he's the Falcon. And, uh, you know, Toucan Sam is just a toucan, but he talks. So there's something weird about it. Anyway, this is the Falcon fighting Toucan Sam, stopping those kids and, and saving them from the sugar. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just giving up. All right. So another video that I did very recently was Black Panther in the style of several different cartoon cats. So click on the link above and check out that whole video. It's really, really cool. I did a drawing in that video of Black Panther in the Tony the Tiger style. You know, Tony the Tiger. They're great. You know, Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes has to be in this video. He's, uh, Tony the Tiger is a huge cereal box character. He deserves to be in here. So here's Tony the Tiger meets Black Panther. All right, now here's a drawing I did in another video. But anyway, it fit perfectly with this video. So again, I'm just gonna put this drawing in this video too, because I just love the drawing so much. And I really like uh, the way Tony came out. So this is Tony the Tiger, not battling back, uh, Black Panther, but I think they're buds, they're friends. They're sharing a bowl of cereal. And I think in this drawing, I, I wanted to make Black Panther kind of be in the same style as Tony the Tiger. So this would be Tony the Tiger and Black Panther having a good time. See, people can be friends. Just listen to the cats. This is strangely soothing, I'm just telling you. I feel safe and well-groomed. Okay, let's give this one more try. I really like Lucky Charms. They were Lucky Charms. Okay, last cereal box character we're gonna feature in this video is Buzz, the Honey Nut Cheerios Bee, meeting Ant-Man and the Wasp. Here we go. All right now, I never knew the name of the bee character from Cheerios. Apparently his name is the super creative Buzz the Bee. There you go. You just can't think of names like that, so, <laughs> unless you're a highly paid uh, commercial advertising executive. So anyway, I really like this character. He's very sweet. He's very charming. I think in this picture, uh, there's been a big misunderstanding. I think, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp, of course, are gonna go after Buzz because they're insect size, and you know, Buzz is obviously an insect, and you know, if you weren't insect size, you wouldn't even know Buzz did anything wrong. So I, you know, I, Buzz has his little, you know, um, uh, honey scooper thing. What do you, what do you call that honey scooper thing? I, I guess the, the honey scooper thing. We'll call it that. So Buzz has the honey scooper thing. He's taken off with some honey, and that's his job. He's a bee. But I think Ant Man and the Wasp think he stole some honey. He wasn't supposed to have it. Um, and uh, so they're chasing after him. And I really like this one because I just, I don't want to see Buzz get hurt. So I want to see him get captured. I think he's just on the run until he can explain himself. And again, in the, in, in this uh, picture. The Wasp has so many different costumes in the comics. I haven't really seen her movie costume that much, so I'm doing the best I can with her movie costume. And, um, you know, just having a good time. So this is uh, uh, Buzz the Bee doing battle with Ant-Man and the Wasp, and hopefully he can explain himself. Wow. <laughs> Those lucky charms sure are lucky. That's really good. That's not my money. I've got to give it back. Anyway, all right. Thanks guys so much for watching. Which cereal character combined with Marvel did you like the best? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, what cereals did I miss? What other epic cereal characters should I draw? There's a lot of ones that I liked from when I was a kid. I don't know if you guys would like them or even know them, so I didn't do those. But if you want to see me draw some retro cereal characters, that'd be pretty cool too. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like down there. That really helps us out. And let's see, on the big whiteboard today, I'm trying to think of who I could draw. Let's see, we did cereal, food-based. I've got to draw a food-based character. Now, what food-based character do you think I should draw? What Butch Hartman character is food-based? What's that? Did I hear somebody? Oh, hey, I heard somebody say it. That's right, from the very first episode of Danny Phantom, it's the Lunch Lady. Here we go.
Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.